and so it begins. Good morning, beautiful snow people. Welcome to day three here at Yold Brian Head Resort in Brian Head, Utah. Uh, today is day three of the 20 to 20, uh, 20, 21, 21 to 22 ski season. Who knows what uh, today holds? I don't know if I'm on the Navajo side or giant steps over here on uh, lift three, Blackfoot. I don't remember the other names. <laughs> At the moment, it's terrible. I've hit my head a lot. So uh, we'll see how today goes. Not sure what the day holds, but uh, appreciate guys and gals coming along. If you wouldn't mind, please like the video and subscribe to the channel for uh, all this epic awesomeness. So let's get going. All right, so here we are. This is uh, the excitement pre-brief. And uh, we got everybody here. What's your name? What's up? I'm Kennedy. Okay. And so, yeah, the excitement is palpable here. Here we go. With that Navajo. Joe. It's a little known fact that our uh, ski patrol van was used in the western migration of the LDS pioneers in the year 1847. <laughs> He's the only one with us. So one of the most exciting things that we do all day is ride in the van. Oh, nice. It's got some uh, customization going. See belts. Right there we got. It's hard to underestimate the glory of working at Navajo. Oh. Alrighty, so the very first thing in the morning here at Navajo side, we go out and put up quite a bit of tuna net, trying to keep all the tuna within the proper restraints that the tuna should be in. Dun -da 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 -da, dun -da 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 -da. On the southern prairie of the Sahara Desert, rarely does it snow. Oh wait, we're in Brian Head. <laughs> Kidding, it is really, really warm. I would. Uh, I would be willing to bet it is at least 40 degrees by now and uh, probably just going to get warmer as uh, Mr. Sun rises there. So first of all, let me apologize for these sunglasses. I found them out here in the middle of nowhere some point a couple years ago and uh, I believe that they're girl sunglasses. but. I don't care. So let's see, uh, let's see how uh, Navajo goes for today. Should be fun, right? I think so. And uh, we have first time off in the F, uh, off in the left. On the, off in the left. And we have fun run to the right. Oh this is where people learn and grow and struggle. <laughs> I'll edit this to where it looks exciting. It's warm here on the Serengeti. Young David returns from a hunt unsuccessful. He's going to have to catch wildebeest soon or he'll probably die. It's too hot. <laughs> Just one of David's many talents, ladies. Should I lower these? At Brian Head, I'm our like... ski patrol uh -oh. can do moving oh, clovages. No. Oh, <laughs> goodness gracious. As always, he's missing a few inches. <laughs> so in addition to being a pretty sweet DJ, Steven here actually has one of the most important jobs on the entire hill, and that is being on the beginner big conveyor belt. How many little kids a day do you pick up there, Steven? Uh, I pick up all of them, really. Uh, as you can see, I am just wearing no jacket. Uh, one of the main benefits of having crosses all over my stuff uh, is to, uh, it does let people know that I am on ski patrol. So it is nice to not wear a jacket at the moment because Frankly, it feels like it's about 87 degrees outside. <laughs> that was a bit rough. <laughs> All right, so we're up here with the uh, the cool kids hanging out. It's kind of like uh, lifeguards, but uh, wearing more clothing, but same temperature. I was actually joking when I told Brandon he had to go over there and help people stand up. It's a hero walk right there, people. 
Good times. So, Andrew, how long have uh, how, how long have we known each other? Oh my gosh, it's been a long time. Long time. Yeah. Since you started uh, since I moved here. Second semester of uh, like fall semester 2014, right? Yeah. So Andy here is a uh, helicopter pilot as well. Went through the survived the program as I did over there at Southern Utah University. Surviving is a good way. Yeah. It's, um, so how long have you worked at Brian Head? How long you been on ski patrol? Um, four years at Brian Head. Well, this is my fifth, and then uh, this is my third year on ski patrol. I get to help people. I get to be outside. I get to ski. Uh, yeah. It's a great job. <laughs> I knew he'd be a great ski patrol, and he has. Uh, thank so, you. yeah. you're welcome, world. <laughs> Let's see the uh, stiffness quotient of one of those fries. Well, that one's better than the last one, but. Let's get a nice long one. Mmm. Little known fact, but my boy Andrew here is actually a very, very good snowboarder. Took quite a bit of. Uh, cajoling to get him to learn how to ski. But then he saw the greatness. Because he saw how awesome I am. And he was like, you know what? I just want to be more like Shannon. Like most people do. All jokes aside though, for real. I saw you make the transition and I was like, I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> As it were, look, we're going backwards and stuff. Oh my God. Don't you even try it. Look at this guy. Freaking hero. All natural. Only slightly flavored like the parking lot. Nice. Lunch time. The tech shop here on Navajo is kind enough to allow us to use their super fancy uh, microwave. Ow, ow, ow. Hello, come See you boys in a minute, and uh, you just want that brought up here, correct? Yeah. How would I describe our ski attachment method on the snowmobile? One word? Questionable. <laughs> It's so really with the snowmobile, we're a little bit more concerned about gas running into us um, as opposed to uh, us running into uh, a guest on accident. Either way, it'd be really sad, but uh, can't control gas. So I try to stay about that far away from the edge and way off to the side so that uh, people will have a way to an escape route to go around me on either side if they need to. Thank you, kind sir. Hi, I'm Shannon. I'll be your Uber driver today. Oh, my, my drink and my apple. Delicious. There's a cup holder on this thing. You did your first real live helping a guest that was injured here on Ski Patrol. I think it went great. Uh, patient was patient was real happy. Was there anything you thought you could do better? Um, probably could have sped it up a little bit, and uh, uh, my radio my radio communication could have been a little bit better. Yeah. Things to learn for next time, right? Absolutely. Excellent, man. I thought you did great. Thank I'll you. I appreciate you time. as always. Secretly, I'll judge him and talk about it later. Do something exciting. If I had to use one word to describe today, it would be action-packed thrill a moment. Just kidding, it wasn't. Alright, but we are gonna film the cone arriving, and I think that'll be pretty neat. Our heroic lift operator. Cone of awesomeness. The cone lets us know that there are no more guests on the lift because we don't want people getting eaten by wolves overnight. So slide right over there at the top of that. Roll it up, take it back. You're gonna put it up in the uh, that tree stand right there. I'm always the 
the front, please. Hey guys, can we uh, not do that? Thank you. So today was a very good day. Nothing really crazy happened. We're headed back to Giant Steps in our uh, immaculately clean, well appointed, and very new van. Love the band. Well, lovely snow people. Today is over. Another fantastic day. If you wouldn't mind, please like the video, subscribe to the channel for more epic off. <laughs> Epic awesomeness. And uh, that's it. Have a great Friday. Take care. And then, due to a lack of wildebeest and coolness, David passed away. <laughs>